to you. I'm not going to share them with you. I'm going to ask you to do a little bit of homework. If you have a Bible, start reading St. John. Read one chapter. Read two. Read three. That's where most of this knowledge comes from. Jesus in John was portrayed as not only the Son of God, but the life that God sent to us, the bread of life, life itself through his wisdom. I'm not going to give you all the seeds, but I'll give you one or two more. Number one, uh, study to find yourself approved. You've got time now. They make me stay at home. Go study. Read one chapter. Uh, next day, read another chapter. We don't know how long we're going to be quarantined and sequestered in our home. You've got time to study now. Where well, you didn't have time before, running around doing this and that, now you have time to read. Get to know Jesus for yourself. Don't believe every Tom, Dick, and Harry or internet preacher who may not know what he's talking about. You go study Jesus for yourself. What knowledge that you have, what beauty that you have, what courage and what love that you have, you need to share it with somebody. Jesus talks about the weak that people grew. If you just took a seed and ground it up and, and made flour up, that's, that's fine. That's not very much. But if you plant that seed, if you expand that seed, if you share that seed, then it can grow threefold, tenfold, a hundredfold. Do, do you understand? You are a seed that God has here on earth. Now don't be like the scripture said. Don't be a a plum tree and then produce thorns. Don't be a cabbage plant and then produce okra. Be who you are. Whatever gift God has given you, you share with someone else. But do it with love. Do it with prayer. Do it with the understanding that you are more than just one seed. Once you gather with other seeds, you can produce a whole forest. You can produce food and wisdom for your entire community. On this Easter morning, I want to focus on you growing, of you sharing, of you seeding people around you. Jesus was a master planter. He was a master gardener. He was a master teacher. It's in here. You can relive, relive the seeds all over again. And from those seeds, you can do your own planting. And then you will understand what Christ did. He laid down his life so that we could have it in abundance. You can do the same thing. Have thine own way, Lord. Have thine own way. the fence and love our neighbor. Lord, bless us to love ourselves. Bless us to be like that little tiny mustard seed that you can barely see, but put in the right hands, put in the right soil, put in the right conditions can produce something beautiful. It can produce almost a tree and the birds can live in it. Lord, bless us to plant something so someone can live in us as you have lived in us. Bless us to produce something, Lord, that will help us and our neighbors. Lord, if you do that, we'll give you the honor, the glory, and the praise, and we'll do it in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Happy Resurrection Sunday.